Hello all. Welcome to this free course by CFD Baba. Today we are going to learn how to install OpenFoam on your system and run your first OpenFoam tutorial case. I am going to show you how to install OpenFoam 12 as well as OpenFoam v2412. The first version is from .org website and the second version is from .com website. I have listed down all the steps you need to do in order to successfully install this on your Windows system. For Windows users, you need to follow the first two steps. For Linux users, you just need to start from step 3. Let's start with step 1. We will enable the WSL and Virtual Machine Platform on our Windows. WSL is Windows Subsystem Linux. To do this, we will go to Windows PowerShell and open it as administrator. Search for PowerShell and run as administrator. Once you have your PowerShell open, we will copy paste the first command. Copy it and to paste it in the terminal, you just need to right click. When I right click, the command is pasted here. Press enter. This will enable the Windows subsystem for Linux in your Windows system. Next, we will enable the virtual machine platform. Copy the second command and paste it by right clicking in the terminal. Press enter. The operation completed successfully. After these two steps, we need to restart our system. So I'll restart my system and be right back. I have now restarted my system. Now I again need to open Windows PowerShell and use run as administrator. Now we will follow the next steps. We will move to step 2. First we are going to install OpenFoam 12 which is from .org website. Next we will install OpenFoam 2412 which is from .com version. Step 2 is to set WSL2 as default and install Ubuntu 22.04. This is a stable version and hence we are going to use it. Copy the first command and paste it in your terminal by right clicking. Press enter. Copy the second command, right click in your terminal to paste it and press enter. It says that it is installing and this may take a few minutes. Let's wait for it to finish. When it finishes installing, it asks you for a new Unix username. I will enter CFD. Baba. Press enter. Now it asks you for a new password. Type in any simple password. Note that you won't be able to see what you have typed in. But type it in nonetheless and press enter. It will ask you to retype the new password. I will type my password again and press enter. The password is updated successfully and now we are logged in into Ubuntu. Now let's install OpenFoam 2412 on our system. You don't need to follow step 1 and step 2 again since it is already done. Now we just need to install OpenFoam 2412 inside Ubuntu. Hence, we will just follow from step 3. 
copy the first command but we will close this terminal and go to our windows powershell we can even restart our windows powershell to do that close the old session and search for powershell run it as administrator To install OpenFoam in Ubuntu, we need to go inside the Linux subsystem. To do that, simply type WSL and press enter. It will take you inside your Windows subsystem for Linux. Now we can copy the first command and paste it inside our terminal. Press enter. Enter the password you have set. It won't show anything but type it and press enter. This will take some time to finish. Let's wait for it to complete. Once the repository is set up, we can now copy the second command and paste it in the terminal. Press enter. Once the installation is finished successfully, we again need to create alias to source our OpenFoam 2412. OpenFoam 12 is installed inside OPT folder, but OpenFoam 2412 is installed inside USR folder. We can go to that from our Linux and then we can go inside Ubuntu and here there is USR folder. Inside that we need to go in the lib folder. In that there is a folder called OpenFoam and inside that you will find all the installations of your .com versions. Inside OpenFoam 2412 you can find the tutorials folder and you can use these tutorials to build your own cases.
but we had already done this step while installing OpenFoam 12 version. However, I want to show you how to access the bash rc file when you need it. To do that, you simply have to type cd and then slash home. You will be inside your home directory. Go inside the folder which is there inside your home directory, which is the username. In my case, it is CFD Baba. Once you are inside the folder, you can now access your bash rc file. Simply type explore.exe and space and again one dot. So you type explorer.exe which is the application and space and then one dot which means that the computer should open the folder in our GUI at this location. Press enter and it will open the folder. And here you can see the bash rc file. Right click to open it in any editor. You can see that we have already sourced and created alias for openfoam2412. So this means that if we want to access openfoam12, we simply need to type of12 in the terminal. And if we want to access openfoam2412, we just need to type of2412 in the terminal. Before that, let's again source our bash rc file. Copy the command and paste it in your terminal. Press enter. And now your system is ready to run openfoam12 as well as openfoam2412. Let's check it. Type of2412. Press enter. To check the version, simply type simple foam space dash help. Press enter. You can now see that it is using open foam 2412. We can switch to open foam 12 version. To do that, simply type of12. Press enter. And now if you check with the help of foam run space dash help, press enter and you will see that now we are using open foam 12. So congratulations, you now have both the open foam versions installed on your system and ready to run. We will again switch back to open foam 2412 and run a tutorial case to see if everything is working. We will again follow the same procedure. Let's go to our tutorials folder inside the D drive which we created. Press shift on your keyboard and right click. Here you can use open Linux shell. Now we are inside this folder. We need to load the openfoam2412 environment. To do that simply type of2412 press enter. Now openfoam2412 is loaded. Next, we can copy these commands one by one. The first command will copy the pits daily case from this path into our current directory. So right click to paste the command, press enter. And you can see that pits daily has now been copied in our tutorials folder. To view the contents of the folder, you can type ls and it will list it. Always remember to run the tutorial, you need to be inside that folder. So we will go in the pits daily folder by typing cd and then the name of the folder. Press ls to see the contents inside the folder. We can see the same folders here as well. Now we need to run the block mesh command again to mesh our geometry. 
After block mesh, to run the simulation in open form 2412, you need to enter the command simple form. Press enter. You can now see that our simulation is converged in 281 iterations. To open the para view in dot com version, we need to first create a dummy file named case.form. So as you can see, our data folders have been written inside the pits daily folder. By using this command, we'll create a dummy file named case.form. This is an empty file and we'll use this file to open this case in Paraview. You can download Paraview from their official website. Go to the Paraview website. Click on download. And then select the version you want to download. Once you select the version, make sure to download the zip file which does not have MPI written on it. So this is the file you want to download for your windows. Once you download this zip file, you need to unzip it and then you will get the Paraview folder. I have unzipped my Paraview inside D softwares and then I have got this folder after I unzipped the file. Once I go in the bin folder, I can find the Paraview application. Double click to open the Paraview application. Close this window. Now we'll go to our case folder and now we need to open this case.form. One of the shortcuts to open this is to simply drag this file and drop it inside this blank space in Paraview. Press apply. And now you can see the results in your Paraview. You can see the velocity by selecting U. And you can click on the last frame button to see the results at your last time step, which is 281. We can even view the vectors. To do that, select case.form and click on Generate Glyphs. Select Orientation Array as U and Scale Array as No Scale Array. Rescale and click on Apply. Let's decrease the scale by half two times and then again press Apply. Let's hide case.form and now we can clearly see the direction of the fluid flow inside this geometry. We can view the velocity and we can see that the velocity is almost 10.2 at the inlet and the flow comes in and a vortex is generated here and then the flow is going out from the right side through the outlet. So this is how you can successfully install both the open foam versions onto your Windows system or even your Linux system and start running open foam tutorials easily. I have also created other courses where I teach how to start open foam from scratch. If you only have your CAD dimensions, you can create your CAD, you can mesh it, you can set up your own case and then you can run it and then you can post process your own results all using open source tools. So make sure to check out my other courses if you want to learn more advanced things in OpenFoam. I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you like the videos, don't forget to drop your feedback down below. We will meet again in a new course 
with the new videos